Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another video on ECG. I am Dr. Wajid and I have done the Genti in Cardiology. This is the ECG which we are going to discuss today. Aaj ki ECG is also an interesting one because there are multiple findings on this ECG. Hamesha ki tarah before starting the discussion I would like you to pause your video note down the findings and diagnosis with yourself or video ke end par apne diagnosis ko aur apne findings ko compare kare with what was discussed in this video as you all know ke ecg mein jo hum sabse pehli cheez dekhte hain that is rhythm rhythm ke liye hum lead to ya rhythm strip dekhenge as you can see that there are upright and prominent p waves before each qrs complex this means that the rhythm in this ecg is sinus rhythm ke baad hum jo next cheez dekhte hain that is heart rate heart rate ke liye hum ek aisa qrs complex dekhte hain which lies on broad वर्टिकल लाइन उस ब्रॉड वर्टिकल लाइन और नेक्स्ट क्यूआरएस कॉम्प्लेक्स के दरमियान लार्ज बॉक्सेस को हम काउंट करेंगे एज 300 one 150 100 75 एंड 60 सो द हार्ट रेट इन दिस केस इज बिटवीन 75 एंड 60 which is most likely 65 beats per minute rhythm strip ke start mein agar hum dekhe to hame rr interval prolonged nazar aa rahe hain isme agar hum heart rate dekhe to it is 300 150 100 75 60 and 50 the heart rate is about 55 at beginning of this rhythm strip while it is around 65 at the end of the strip it means that there is some abnormality causing this change in heart rate usko find out karne ke liye agar hum lead 2 mein hi shuru mein left side se agar hum dekhe so there is p wave which is not conducted means that there is no qrs after it while second p wave is conducted there is qrs complex similarly third is not conducted and this pattern of one beat being conducted and next not being conducted continues until we reach this p wave as you can see that this p wave is being conducted but the pr interval is prolonged similarly next p wave is being conducted with pr interval being further prolonged iske baad wali p wave jo hai it is not being conducted to ventricles after that there is p wave which is being conducted with relatively short pr interval so rhythm strip ke start mein there is 2 into 1 av block while at the end of this rhythm strip there is mobits one av block so we will say that this is a sinus rhythm with variable av block iske baad agar hum lead 2 mein gaur se dekhe to the duration of p wave is prolonged it is about 2.5 small square while in lead v1 it is the p wave is biphasic with deep and wide negative terminal end this means that there is left atrial enlargement iske baad hum axis dekhte hain hum lead 1 aur avf ko dekhenge the qrs direction in lead 1 is upwards while it is downwards in lead avf so the axis in this case is left axis deviation
एक्सिस के बाद नेक्स्ट अगर आप लिम लीड में देखें तो देर इज प्रोमिनेंट एस टी एलिवेशन इन लीड टू लीड थ्री एंड लीड ए वी एफ अलॉन्ग विथ क्यू वेव सिमिलरली देर आर एस टी एलिवेशन इन लीड वी फाइव एंड वी सिक्स and there are reciprocal st vibrations in lead 1 and avl also in lead v1 to v3 this means that there is in pro lateral or posterior wall mi इसके बाद अगर आप लीड वी वन में देखें तो देर इज आर एस आर पैटर्न विद प्रोलॉन्ग क्यू आर एस ड्यूरेशन दैट इज मोर देन थ्री स्मॉल स्केयर आर वन ट्वेंटी मिली सेकेंड विच मीन दैट देर इज राइट बंडल ब्रांच ब्लॉक Also in lead one and AVL there are small Q waves and there is tall R wave. While in case of lead two, three and AVF there are minuscule R wave with deep S wave. As you know from our previous videos that whenever you find a small Q with prominent R in lead one and AVL and a small R and deep S in lead two, three and AVF. it means that there is left anterior fascicular block so an ecg with av nodal block which is variable right bundle branch block and left anterior fascicular block all three of them are if if all three of them are present on ecg it means that there is tri fascicular block so to sum up the findings there is sinus rhythm with variable av block there is left axis deviation there is left atrial enlargement there is st elevations in lead 2 3 avf and v5 v6 with reciprocal st depressions in lead 1 avl and lead v1 to v4 there is right bundle branch block and there is left anterior fascicular block next question jo ecg ko dekhte hue hamare zehen mein aata hai ki what would be the management of this case so we have to manage two things in this case first of all there is st elevation mi अगर पेशेंट रिप्रफिन की विंडो पीरियड में प्रेजेंट करता है दैट इज विद इन ट्वेल्व आवर्स ऑफ ऑन सेट ऑफ चेस्ट पेन तो वी रिप्रफ्यूज इट विद थ्रोम्बोलिस और प्राइमरी पी सी आई सिमिलरली इफ पेशेंट प्रेजेंट्स विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर आवर्स ऑफ चेस्ट पेन बट ही हैज पॉस द विंडो ऑफ थ्रोम्बोलिस विद sk or lt plays then we go for primary pci other thing is tri fascicular block whenever there is inferior wall mi with this kind of variable av block and right bundle branch block it is most likely due to increased vagal or parasympathetic tone so is case mein we wait before insertion of permanent pacemaker because usually with perfusion and restoration of blood supply uh, the this kind of block improves so this was all for today hopefully aapko aaj ki video pasand aayi hogi for more videos please subscribe to this channel and stay tuned thank you and allah hafiz till next time